February the 28th, you have uh, Martin Rogan, and uh, I know that uh, we've seen him fight. We know he's tough. He, he comes to battle. But I want to start by asking you, no disrespect to Martin Rogan, you are Commonwealth and European champion. Do you feel like it's almost a step down in class for you? It's a, it, not a step down. Far from it, because we all have to find some, start somewhere. I mean, when I came into the game, I was fighting guys who were ranked number like 20 odd in the, in, the, in the British rankings, and I had no amateur experience. No. So no, because just because a guy's had like 11 fights, it doesn't mean that he can't hold his own against a guy who's had 30 fights. I'm like 23 fights now, and um, two losses on record. The one I dispute, obviously, against mm -hmm. Danny the first time, but. No, I don't disrespect him. I need to keep active, you know. And if it's all right saying, well, I want to just keep defending my European title, keep defending my Commonwealth against these fighters who are out there who've been on the scene. But if the fight isn't there to be made, I need to I need to fight. And um, like I said, you know, Martin, as no matter what we say about Audley, he's still on the edge of people's tongue. And he's still people still talk about him, people still expect big things from him because if you look at records, Olympic champions go on to be champions in the in the pro world. So the fact that he beat Audley, yeah, of course he's out there. He's kind of like the man at the moment. People are talking about it. So it, at the minute, it's the right fight for me. I don't see it as a step backwards because I see every fighter has a fighter's chance. Martin Rogan doesn't pretend that he's got silky boxing skills. He does say he's got heart, he's got a brain, and he comes to fight. Not too unlike how you sort of started your yeah, career, yeah. but I know now you're especially keen on showing your boxing skills and yeah. what you've learned in the sort of seven years you've been you know, in the game now. Yeah. So come this fight on February the 28th, should your fans be looking to see a different Matt Skelton or more, the more improved Matt Skelton with regard to boxing skills? Yeah, hopefully they can see an improvement. You know, I, I'm, I'm, again, you know, and, and maybe because this is why the, 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 the media doesn't really cover me. My, my main aim is to win. Mm -hmm. If I can win and it looks silky smooth, brilliant. If, if I can win and it doesn't suit everybody, then brilliant as well. Because I, I, I want to win. That's the main objective. I feel now with my experience of gaining, albeit sort of six years mm -hmm. in, I believe I'm bringing both to the table you know if I need to dig deep and have a fight and have a row I can do that if I need to get on my toes and throw the jab out a bit more and look for cleaner shots I think I can do that so hopefully I think to find a happy medium is what makes you a better fighter because you have to be able to adapt you know if, you, if I've got a guy who's technically very good and um, superior to me I might have to go and have a fight with him and, and, and go back to resort back to the old rough and tough mafia if I've got a guy who I think is rough and tough and I think I can outbox him I need to resort to that. So it's trying to find a happy medium. You know, when you came into the game, you were, people said, oh, well, you know, no boxing skills. And I think they probably underestimated you a bit. And you went along and you got the wins and you got the wins. Mm. Now, not too unlike Martin Rogan, he's coming to come into the game. He's won the prize fighter. He's beaten Audley Harrison, maybe with a lack of boxing skills. This could be a bit of a banana skin for you, couldn't it? He could be do to you what you did to people early in your career. Ultimately, ultimately. And, I, and that's why I've got the utmost respect for him. That's why I'll be training just as hard for this as I have for any other fight. I'm not disregarding it. We didn't sit down and look at the fight and think, Matt, that's an easy fight, let's take it. We sat down, we discussed it. As soon as, as soon as his name was being mentioned, we sat down and discussed it and we thought, is it a good fight? You know, I want to get out of there as soon as possible. I've been out nearly 10 months before. And uh, we thought, we, we've analysed it and said, yeah, Matt, this is a good fight for you. And we look at other things, you know. I can only fight out there who's available for Frank to make the fights for me. And no, I know it could be a bit of a banana skin, as they say, but... You know, I'm confident that I won't be the one sipping on a banana that night. So, yeah. <laughs> Matt Skelton, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed.